So we'll have a look at um, extended side angle. Again, another posture that we can move into um, from Warrior Two. So these postures that we can come into from Warrior Two encourages a nice graceful movement as we transition, because in the most part, the, from the waist down, we're locked in that position. Maybe there's a straightening or taking the bend back in the leg, but we can move through a lot of these postures quite gracefully. So we'll come into extended side angle from warrior two. So we're at top of the mat, we are extending up, striding back with left foot to warrior two. So again, we're turning that left foot out as we step back, right knee above the right ankle, making sure that we've stepped back far enough that we feel engagement in the legs. And again, it's not 100%, it's just a maybe 20, 30% engagement. So we've got the legs supporting, we're feeling strong, raising the arms up, but the shoulders are relaxing. And I've got a soft gaze over this front hand, the right hand. And then from here, extended side angle. There's a couple of options of coming into this. For somebody that maybe struggles with their mobility, we might look at taking a bend in this right arm, bringing the forearm down onto the thigh. So we've got that as some support. And then we bring this left arm round alongside the head. And then we'll come back to warrior two. So we'll reverse those movements. So this left arm is coming back round. I'm coming up and I'm raising up in front. So the next option would be is with the right arm. It's gonna come on the inside of this right leg. And again, with this posture, chest sideways on. So as I'm moving this right arm down, I'm making sure this left shoulder stays back. And then bring in the right, sorry, left arm round in this case, alongside the head. And I'm imagining a nice straight line from the tips of the fingers all the way through to the outside edge of that back foot. With this arm here, this right arm, I'm gently pressing it on the inside of this right leg and pressing back with the right knee. And it helps create stability and strength in the posture. And then we'll come back up. And then I'm gonna step the left foot forwards back to standing. So you would have noticed that when I brought my arm down on the inside of the leg, I was maybe, I don't know, two or three inches from the ground, but that's about right for me. If I'd have got my hand right down, I'd have pulled this shoulder out of alignment. So it's not necessarily, again, it's not about getting the fingertips down onto the mat. 